you guys welcome back to my channel today is surgery day the time has finally come it's um 7 20 in the morning right now i have to be at the surgical facility at 8 30 so i'm about to get dressed i took a shower and washed myself with hibiclin solution and i haven't drank or ate anything since mid since midnight last night and my mouth is so dry and i'm thirsty but i wanted to show you guys what i'm going to wear today last night i set up my outfit i made sure to put on pull-on stretchy pants nothing that cuts into my skin or has elastic so even my underwear is really comfortable my socks are comfortable and um this is my little front zip bra that i'm going to take and um a front a front zip sweater and then i also put this here so i don't forget i have to place this behind my ear right now actually these are all my front zip sweaters that i have that are lightweight that i could wear during the summer so i place them here so that they're like so that it's easy for me to get to so i just place them on my doorknob um because i'm gonna be wearing front zip sweaters a lot i'm gonna be wearing front zip sweaters a lot since i'm not gonna be able to lift my arms to put on a shirt or anything so right now i wash my hair i also want to try and braid it so that it doesn't get naughty or in the way during surgery and post-op i'm going to leave try and leave the braid in for like two days um since i'm not going to be able to brush my hair or wash my hair so i'm about to get dressed right now so i decided to give you guys a little before shot there it is okay so this is my outfit that i'm going to be wearing to surgery it's just a two-piece Fashion Nova set. I, they're loose and comfortable. They don't, they're not tight at all on the waist or at the bottom. I put socks on because I don't want to get cold and um, it's summer but I know I'm probably going to feel cold after surgery especially with IV fluids um, and shivering makes your muscles hurt. So um, I got a zip sweater so I don't have to put my arms above my head. And yeah, this is the outfit. Okay, so now I gotta get this thing on. Your destination is on the right. Okay, I just got here and I'm feeling really nervous. Okay. Oh, kiss your Are you serious? <laughs> Give me a little more kiss. Tell me when you're sitting down and waiting. Okay, I wasn't able to braid my hair. Let me see. Okay. <sighs> oh, dang it. I didn't write my list of questions. I was gonna write a list of questions. That's why I brought my little journal and I forgot. Well, hopefully I remember after I do. We got other businesses too. So all I'm taking is my ID and my medicine. And I'm gonna leave this here too. I feel butterflies. Oh my god. Okay, I'm taking this one just in case this one fits me too small or tight or whatever. Okay, farewell. 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 <laughs> Are you scared? Pray for me, okay? Are you gonna pray for me? Yeah. <laughs> okay, two to the <sighs> There we go. Here we go, you guys.
All right, you guys, so Gabby's about to walk out from her surgery. She should be out any minute now. And we're gonna record her walking out. See how she's doing. Impatient, you guys. Growing impatient. Walk out of that door. Gabby's about to walk out from her surgery. She goes. <laughs> hey, babe. Oh yeah? surgery so I'm still not 24 hours after surgery yet my throat has been very dry they said that that was probably going to happen because um I had an oxygen tube inside of my mouth it hasn't been very painful more so when you're trying to use your muscle like I could not pull up my pants just decided to change into like a robe so that I don't have to worry about pants today I woke up with my breast so hard they hurt because they're so hard i need a spoon baby oh thank you josie to go get with you tell here wait 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 tell josie he needs to open this for me and give me a spoon i can't open it okay tell him okay no <laughs> my kids are taking care of me right now my sister is on her way so that's why i have this ice pack because they're very Swollen. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. I do have a two o'clock appointment. Okay, so I just got ready for my follow-up appointment. My sister brushed my hair and braided it. So you can be out of my face, out of my way. I didn't have a chance to do it before surgery. I put on my zip sweater. She also had to help me get dressed pull up my pants and stuff because I could not do it and these are like stretchy but I could not do it it hurts and um I do feel a little short short of breath when I talk too much um but all I feel really is like a lot of pressure and heaviness and I only have pain when I'm trying to do something where I'm using my muscles pulling up my pants wiping when using the bathroom those kind of things do hurt so yeah I'm gonna go to my follow-up appointment now so I just got back from my um, doctor's appointment. I took off the the bandages 
and um, so that everything looks good and I had to be there in a week again but I was in so much pain when I went to the doctor because I was waiting in the lobby for for a while and I got really cold and shivering and that just made my muscles and my chest hurt so bad I wanted to cry now that I when I got home I don't know I feel so weak and tired and itchy and I hope it's not like a side effect from the antibiotic um, but I've taken that antibiotic before and I've also taken Norco before so I don't know why I started feeling like this um, also I don't get hungry like all I ate today was that yogurt that I showed you guys and then some like crackers that's it so right now I ate a chicken noodle soup and I'm gonna try and make myself uh, drink this also when I talk I get really like out of breath and um, and it hurts so even it hurts to even laugh so um they did tell me that i need to eat because i haven't been really eating so i need to eat a lot of protein and i can't do a lot of things you know my daughter is so used to always coming to me for everything and when i tell her to ask her brother she's like no so it's a little hard adjusting i feel bad that i can't be with her and she's also kind of sick she's been having a fever since yesterday so She's sick, she wants mom, but I'm in pain. I can't hold her, I can't carry her. Oh, it's so sad, but I'm just praying that I can get through recovery as quick as possible so I can go back to my mom duties. So I'm gonna show you guys what it's looking like because he took off the bandages and then I applied one of my bras. So right now they're very hard, high and swollen. So this part is gonna go down and then it'll kind of shape itself out, you know? It's definitely not gonna be looking like this. And I'm a little bit um, bloated. Hey guys, so today is Saturday. It is day two post-op. Um, so far lately I've been, they've been very hard and swollen so I've been icing them like all day. Um, you know, I do take breaks in between, but, um, because the swelling just hurts and I feel so much pressure and I do feel out of breath, but I keep using the spirometer that they gave me and they told me to do that eight times an hour, which I don't think I've been doing that often, but I do use it a lot because I do feel very short of breath and I do have asthma also. I don't have any bruising at all anywhere. I don't have any bruising and... Babe and my mom both saw my stitches today and they both said that they look like they're healing well and they're actually really small. It's just that they're very swollen and hard up here. Babe, help me take a shower right now. I was crying because I was getting cold and shivery and tense and my muscles were like getting really tense and it hurts. Um, but I feel better that I'm clean. Oh, I need him to brush my hair though. So he helped me take a shower because I could not wash my hair. And um, he had to wash most of my body too. Um, my mom came over today and also helped me out with the kids a lot. You know, she showered my daughter, gave him something to eat. She also made me some caldo. And also, oh yeah, um, also I haven't been feeling hungry. Except for right now. My, so my stomach started growling and that's the first time that I actually feel hungry since my surgery. Because usually I don't feel hungry. I just eat because I don't want to take my medicine on an empty stomach. I don't know if I told you guys that the doctor said recovery is four to six weeks. So, so babe actually just went to the pharmacy because he's going to get me some antibiotic ointment so I can place on my stitches since I just took a shower. I haven't felt any nausea. I haven't felt any nausea. Am I saying that right? Why do I feel like I'm not saying that right? Nausea. I haven't felt any nausea at all. So I haven't even taken my, my nausea medication for it. Also, I feel kind of loopy sometimes. I don't know if you guys can tell I'm out of breath. And I feel like my head's not all the way there all the time. I think because of all the medication I'm on and stuff. Because like when I'm texting, like I be texting like some weird stuff or misspelling a whole bunch of stuff. And um, yeah, I don't know. It's just weird. That's my symptoms. Day two post-op. Um, I'm hoping I feel better every day. Yesterday... I couldn't even get out of bed. It was hurting so much. Um, that's another thing. I, I've been feeling very tired. I have ojeras because I haven't been sleeping well 
first of all, I'm not comfortable. It's so hard. Yeah, I have so many pillows on on my back and everywhere, and it's still so uncomfortable. And um, and then when it, since I'm sleeping sitting up, my mouth opens when I'm sleeping, and then my throat gets so dry, so I have to keep waking up to drink water. And then I also have been peeing a lot. Last night I peed less than the first night. The first night I was just I got up like five times I think to to go use the bathroom. Um, last night I think I got up three times. Okay, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. I want to give you guys a couple days of recovery. Um, in this vlog, I know this vlog is supposed to be surgery day vlog, but on the day of surgery I actually didn't really film that much because they took my phone away. I had to put in a locker and I actually had to get completely undressed. I thought that I was going to be able to wear like my pants. That's why I wore stretchy pants and stretchy socks. Um, but they made me take everything off. So yeah, I didn't even get to vlog that much there. Um, because they took my phone away. So that's why I'm putting in the these recovery days in the... So that's why I'm sharing the recovery days for this channel. See, I'm t I can't think. Since I didn't get that much footage from surgery day, I decided to add a couple of my recovery days to this vlog. But I will have a separate recovery vlog. But I'm hanging in there, guys. I do. I'm, I feel like I'm getting a little better every day. And um, no regrets so far. <laughs> I just want to give you guys a little peek. A little peek. They're very high up. And when I don't have my bra on, they look like square shaped ish but he said that that's normal and it'll go away Today is actually day eight post-op. I have a doctor's appointment today. I wanted to update you guys on how I've been um, because the last couple of days were a struggle so I didn't even vlog for you guys because like I just didn't want to be crying on camera or looking ugly on camera you guys. I was looking so rough and it made me just feel so bad and then my house was looking rough and that made me feel bad and then I'm just not able to do anything and it's been tough, but I'm going to update you guys on how I've been feeling. Um, last night was the first night that I slept through the whole night, and I was actually comfortable. Like, I finally found the perfect pillow configuration to keep me upright and comfortable all through the night. So, I'm happy that um, I finally got some good sleep last night. And I'm looking a little bit less pregnant today. You know, I was looking like I'm four months pregnant today. I'm maybe looking like I'm three months pregnant. So right now, I'm actually going to take a shower and get ready. I mean, my doctor's appointment is like two hours, so I have to hurry because I'm very slow. So when I come back from my shower, I'll update you guys on how I've been for this week. Since I think I haven't vlogged for you guys since day three. So I'm going to update you guys on day four to seven. So really quick before I get in the shower... I'm going to show you how I get into bed and how I adjust all my pillows since last night was the first night that I had a good sleep. I didn't wake up at all. My bed is really high. As you can see, I can't use my arms to get comfortable at all. I have to use all my lower body because it hurts to use my arms. So, last night, this is what I did. I got one pillow here, another pillow, and then... I used to put this little one down here for like some lower back support, but I don't know, that hasn't been helping. My back has been hurting a lot lately also because I'm not sleeping well and also because I'm hunched over a lot because I'm not comfortable being all the way straight all the time because sometimes it hurts my chest or it feels really tight. So what I did was get this pillow and fold it put it here okay and then I put this one I leave this one like this this is a big huge fluffy pillow this is how I get it I climb up here I can't use my arm 
Now I'm going to start laying back. So I make sure to hold the pillow so it doesn't move out of place, the one that I folded. And then I start sitting back like this. And then I bring one leg out. And then the other leg out. <sighs> and I scrunch it up like that so I can kind of lift my legs a little bit. Now I get my tiny little one. Stick it back here. Like this. I slept like this all night. And it felt so great. And I never moved. I woke up like this also. So I slept like this. And I felt so comfortable last night. Like everything is so great like this. So then I just get my little blankie. And then I kind of just. Uh, like that because I can't move. And then I get my legs like that. Like that, and this is how I sleep. Oh wait, let me show you how I get out of bed. In this position that I'm in, it was also really easy for me to get out of bed because I because I stayed upright all night. So then I just get my legs out first to anchor my upper half. You see, it was so easy because every other morning I was in so much pain, like I would be stuck. Right, Josie? Josie? Ah, uh, yeah. I would be stuck and I would have to call him to help me to get out because I couldn't do it. He would have to like hold my shoulders and like help pull me up because I would be like, like way like down here, like this, falling off all my pillows and then I can't get up. So then I have to call him to help me because then when you're like that, you have to use your upper muscles to get up. <sighs> so I hope that helps you guys out. It's the struggle. The struggle is very real. Alright, I gotta go take a shower. I'm at my one week follow up doctor appointment. Anyways, you guys, I wish I could just take my bra off and show you guys because they're looking so nice. Like, just two, maybe two days ago is when I started like looking at them and I was like, dang these look nice like my doctor did a really really good job like i love how they're placed like they're placed exactly where they should be my nipples are like right here and they haven't even dropped yet um so once they drop i feel like they're gonna look so nice but i'm, I'm not even mad at it like this like look at this this is good cleavage right here they just have perfect placement like they're not too close too far apart too high too low i'm very happy with how they're looking so far and i know it's just gonna get better but i am not happy about the rest of my body let me tell you okay i'm still kind of pregnant and then i'm just sitting doing a whole lot of nothing i can't work out and stuff and ugh, that just makes you feel horrible you know so i can't wait to be able to work out again so i can get all snatched from everywhere you see this right here? This is gonna go down. That's what used to look so scary at first. When I would take off my bra, I'm like, oh my god, what did I do to myself? <laughs> Cause it looked very square and high over here, but it's rounding out. The doctor said that this one is a little bit rounder right here Mommy. than this one. So I have to do some massages, put my palms right here and kind of squeeze not squeeze, but like push my boobs together. He also said that you shouldn't lay flat so that they don't move and go to like the sides. I want them to stay right where they are so I have to keep sitting up, sleeping upright. And he did say I can start taking off my bra. I don't have to wear it all the time. He said that'll help for them to drop a little bit quicker. They're still very high, so when I take off my bra, he said gravity will help for them to go down and drop so i'm gonna sit with you guys and chat with you for a little bit i'm gonna tell you guys how i've been this first week post-op okay so i'm sitting down on the couch on day four post-op that day was a horrible day for me first of all it was the first day that i was by myself babe didn't get home from work till eight o'clock at night and i felt so ugly and musty that day because i didn't take a shower Aww. that day and it just looked crazy. My hair was like in this crazy, greasy, ugly bun. I had a little meltdown that day. When babe got home, he helped me take a shower. Well, that was the first day that I showered by myself. But I still needed help. I needed him to help me um, take off 
my bra because I couldn't do that by myself. Um, help me um, get into the shower and get out of the shower. Help dry myself. Help put my bra on and everything because it was still very hard for me to do. Also, that day was the first day. On, my, on day four was the first day that I had a bowel movement. The last bowel movement I had was on Wednesday the week before. So it was a while. So it felt good. Um, I always took the the stool softeners I take them and I still take them I take two every day one in the morning and one at night and every day I do no notice a little bit more like range of motion like I'm able to do a little bit more I feel better but I'm still not 100 like I'm still nowhere close to being normal but I, every day I do notice that I am able to do something that I wasn't able to do the day before so then on day five post up I cleaned the kitchen I like wiped down all the surfaces and I swept okay sweeping was very 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 hard and I was imagine like a t-rex sweeping a kitchen and wiping my kitchen that was me okay I'm the t-rex because I my arms are like very close to my body and like I have to move my whole entire body to sweep I can't just move my arms because it hurts and I just I couldn't do it. it took me forever just to wipe down the surfaces and sweep it took me 30 minutes to do and because I was very slow, very careful, I was trying to not hurt myself. And I felt good that I was able to do something and contribute to my house, you know. But later on, I was feeling it. My breast felt so tight. I had to put an ice pack on it. And I had to take um, some, I actually took ibuprofen just to help with like the swelling. And also on that day is when I started doing better with my breathing. On my day of surgery, they gave me a spirometer and I was always at the lowest number, 500. Couldn't get above that, but on that day is when I finally could take deeper breaths and I went up to like 600 and right now I'm at 750. Then on day six post-op, which was Wednesday, all day I was just sitting on the couch. I was actually editing a video. But then we had a birthday party to go to and it was the first time that I was going to leave the house. So I was just excited to get out the house. That was the first day that I took a shower by myself completely. I got myself completely undressed on my own. I got into the shower. I even washed my hair by myself. And then I got dressed by myself. It was a struggle to put my pants because I was going to wear leggings that were high-waisted. Like just the motion of like pulling up is still difficult. That was the first time I was able to put on my bra on my own. Um, luckily, these bras that I got are so stretchy. So that makes putting them, putting them on by myself a lot easier. So then I started <coughs> feeling so shaky, dizzy, and weak at the party. I was just feeling so horrible. As soon as I got home, I took my pills and tried to go to sleep, but I actually had such a hard time falling asleep that night. So then Thursday, which was yesterday, yesterday was one week post-op, so I was just a couch potato, um, not doing anything, and that just helped me feel better. So then I took off my bra, and I didn't feel discomfort i took it off and it didn't feel strange and i'm actually loving how it looked like that day i was like dang they're looking kind of nice so if you guys live in the chicago area and you guys are looking for plastic surgeon surgeons i really do recommend dr deval patel he he is good and i never had any bruising so i think that's good too because i'm the type of person that bruises easily and i never got any bruising so i know that that's the doctor doing his job well being gentle i definitely 100 percent recommend him so this is going to be the last little update i'll update you guys later on in a month when i'm almost at my six week and hopefully show you guys how my boobs are looking i also i'm going to be making a q a video so if you guys have any questions please leave them down below you can also leave your questions on my instagram at gabdel2 so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it was helpful for you i try to make it as informative as i can i know it's probably a long video but that's okay because i want to share with you guys everything as much content as i can so i love you guys and i'll see you all next time Bye.